Hi, I'm Adam from Yoyota, and in this video, I'll show you how to copy a folder on a hard drive to an LTO tape. To follow along, you will need a copy of Yoyota LTFS, a hard drive containing some files, a compatible LTO drive, and a blank LTO tape. Let's get started. Open Yoyota and create a new collection and project. If you do not know how to do this, please see the video on copying camera cards for more information. In my case, I'll open the Yoyota Getting Started collection and create a new project called Copying to LTO. The project panel will close automatically and I'll close the project browser to return to the main interface. Click the plus icon above the jobs list to open the media panel. In my case, I'll select the Yo Shuttle 01 drive, click Choose Other, and then select the ARRI folder. Yoyota will load this into the jobs list and begin to index it. Once the indexing completes, the source information table will populate, and you will be able to see the types of files and their size that are in the ARRI folder. Load your blank LTO tape into the LTO drive. Once the tape loads, Yoyota will prompt you to format the tape. If the tape has a barcode label, enter the six characters on the label as the name of the tape. If the tape does not have a label, you can choose how to name it. A valid name should contain six alphanumeric characters with no spaces or special characters. In my case, I will enter YOY001. Yoyota will format the tape and will pop up a prompt at the bottom of the panel once the process is complete. To add the tape as a destination for our job, we need to click on the plus icon above the destination list. This will open the destination panel. Here we will see the tape name we just entered along with any hard drives we have connected. I'll select the YOY001 tape from the list and click add copy number one. The tape will be added to the destination list. Yoyota LTFS supports writing to two LTO drives, so if you have a second drive, you could load another new tape, format it, and then select the new tape in the media panel and click Add Copy Number 2. This would add a second destination to job 1. When you click the green button, the job will write to two LTO tapes at the same time. Perfect if you need to make main and safety copies. With my destination set up, I am ready to start copying. Press the green button at the top of the main panel to start the copy. Yoyota will mount the tape and begin copying the folder from the hard drive to the tape. You will see a progress bar in the destination list showing the number of items and the size left to copy. In the jobs list, you will see a progress bar with an estimated time remaining. Whilst copying, Yoyota will create MD5 and XX hash checksums for every file. Then, during the verify, Yoyota will read back every file from each destination tape, comparing it against the source checksums. It is possible to select Quick Verify, however we recommend the default Full Verification so that you can be guaranteed that each archive matches the source exactly. Once the copy completes, Yoyota will place a green tick by the job in the jobs list, along with a green tick in the destination list by each copy destination. Beneath this will be a smaller green tick, along with a note telling you the total number of files that were copied and verified. Yoyota will also generate a PDF report and save it to a folder on your desktop called Yoyota underscore reports. And there you have it, how to create a verified LTFS archive on LTO tape using Yoyota.